Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, I really wanted to clarify some of the misinformation that's being spread around on our jailbreak and across Twitter. Now, if you guys haven't seen it, he basically stated this as an update. He'll be releasing information once the patch is released by Apple. Please note that this bug is still not fixed in the latest version of iOS, now iOS 12.1.2. So please wait. On the other hand, this bug can work under A12. Now let's uh, break this down a little bit. There's a lot going on. So whatever exploits or or bugs that he's working on, all of his research apparently now works on iOS 12.1.2 and potentially is going to be patched in iOS 12.1.3. Now once the patch is released, he can go ahead and release his information, what he has, um, everything that he's planning on doing. So that's the great thing is we might be seeing a big break in the jailbreak steps right here, but there's a lot of confusion surrounding about what he actually has, what it works for when he says it works under A12, A12 referring to the processor in the iPhones, he says it works under A12. Well, some users are reporting it works on A12, some are saying it doesn't. Um, and if you guys remember, sorry my bad, this is exactly what he tweeted from the get-go. He says he's gonna release information about uh, basically his research that won him some major points at the Typhanu Cup, basically jailbreaking an iPhone 10. So with this information right here, it sounds like it could potentially be for A11 devices and below, so not including A10. Well also, sorry my bad, let me just go to his Twitter. Um, way down here, if you guys recall from a couple weeks back, he says A12. And this was him basically getting TFP0 on an A12 device like the iPhone XS Max in this photo. So from this, it's really vague of what his latest tweet is referring to, if it works on A12 or not. Again, we'll just have to wait and see when it actually comes out. This bug can get us TFP0. But you guys have to understand that that's not the end of the game. That's not the end all, hey, we have an iOS 12 jailbreak. And this might not be all of the exploits or all of everything that we need to be released to actually make a jailbreak possible. There's so much that goes into a jailbreak and getting handed a bug that provides us with TFP0 is pretty much just the first step. That just gives us access to the kernel's virtual memory. This in turn gives jailbreak developers read and write access on the kernel to be able to apply kernel patches. Now that is thing that I'm saying we need more of here. We don't have a kernel patch for iOS 12 as of yet. Now it's unclear at this point in time if further exploits are needed to achieve this kernel level patch, but it is possible that more exploits are in fact needed. And these other exploits that I'm discussing are other bugs that we need to patch the kernel so that we can have an iOS 12 jailbreak. These in turn may not actually work on iOS 12.1.2. Yes, this TPF0 bug that gives us read and write access to the kernel does, but there might be other patches needed that won't be supported on iOS 12.1.2. So that is just one reason why we're suggesting not to upgrade to this firmware is A, nothing has been released yet. And no, I'm not trying to downplay this. This is an incredible step towards an iOS 12 jailbreak. I just saw a bunch of stuff happen on Twitter today where everyone was hyping this up, pretty much saying this was the last and final step for an iOS 12 jailbreak and that it was about to come out and things like that. And I really just wanted to get a video out letting everyone know that that is not the case. We are still months away from an iOS 12 jailbreak being released. Yes, we might have TPF0 with this exploit that's going to be released by Sorry My Bad in the near future, um, but really it's uncertain at this point in time what other patches are going to be needed on iOS 12. Not only a kernel patch, but we might need other patches as well to get Cydia and everything else running on an iOS 12 jailbreak. And I'm glad, sorry my bad, I actually tweeted this out that uh, basically confirming what I said earlier in this video that TFP0 is not the end of the game anymore, especially so for A12 devices. And if you guys remember, Don't Pixel tweeted this out a long time ago saying that iOS 12 introduces new security mechanisms and that the post-exploitation process is going to need a lot of changes. So even when we have TFP0, uh, there's still going to be a lot of steps needed. So uh, for the love of God, do not update to iOS 12.1.2. Um, I've seen a lot of people suggesting to update now that this supposed exploit that's going to be released works on iOS 12.1.2. Absolutely do not update to iOS 12.1.2 after seeing this tweet, even though his research and his bugs, whatever he's going to be releasing, potentially can work up to iOS 12.1.2. There's a lot of other things needed to complete the jailbreak, and some of them may actually require more exploits that potentially could not actually work on iOS 12.1.2. Something could come out for iOS 12.1 and blow, iOS 12.0.1, so it's always better to stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. So just 
so much misinformation uh, spread just because of this one tweet by him. It's awesome that he's going to be releasing his research, but it's unfortunate that really no one has any idea what is going to be released, what it means. Um, the tweet was rather vague, and everyone pretty much saw iOS 12.1.2 and that it works on that, and are thinking about upgrading and other users on Twitter are even recommending people to upgrade to this firmware. And I'm saying absolutely do not upgrade to iOS 12.1.2. Um, there was a ton of things patched and a ton of things fixed in iOS 12.1.1 iOS 12.1 and iOS 12.1.2, so it's always a better idea to stay on the lowest version of iOS that you can. Now as a quick example, we just saw this phenomenon that I was talking about last year with the Electra jailbreak when uh, Ian Beer released his second round of iOS 11 exploits, in this case for iOS 11.3.1 and below, we had that kernel level exploit. But other parts of the jailbreak actually were patched in 11.3 and 11.3.1 by Apple. In that case being the remount patch that the team used, that no longer worked. And that's why they actually had to come out with another way to do that. And they had to use other exploits at the time um, and basically burn those to get a remount working on iOS 11.3.1. And that's essentially the same thing that could happen here. Even if we have this exploit that works for iOS 12.1.2, others that may be needed might not actually work all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. So that's basically the gist of what's going on. I don't mean to rain on everyone's parade that everyone's like, oh, we're gonna get an iOS 12 jailbreak pretty much now. Unfortunately, that's not quite the case. This is an awesome step towards an iOS 12 jailbreak, but again, none of this has been released. Um, it's all just theory right now. We'll have to wait and see what security patches come out in iOS 12.1.3 within the release notes to see if this bug he's referring to was patched by Apple, and then we might actually see um, or have some type of ETA on when this bug is going to be released to the public for everyone to get their hands on and try it out and see really what exactly it does. But again, with what's been going on with the jailbreak scene, I just really wanted to get this video out today, letting everyone know that TPF0 is not the last step, is not the end all that basically makes the jailbreak. It's pretty much the first step. Even with this release, this doesn't mean that a jailbreak for iOS 12.1.2 is going to be coming out without extra patches. And so again, that's why we're recommending everyone to stay on the lowest possible version of iOS 12 that you guys can. Anyway, I will sure to keep you guys updated on this situation if anything else is released by Sorry My Bad. And of course, uh, we can expect iOS 12.1.3 to be coming pretty dang soon. I'm guessing we'll either see it be released and or another beta as early as next week. Um, so here's the jailbreak update that everyone wanted. I hope it uh, satisfied you a little bit to see that progress is being made, but it's not all going to be accomplished in one day, guys. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer um, for things to be released, and then we'll have to wait and see exactly what needs to be done once we have a couple exploits for iOS 12 out in the open. Anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, definitely give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking news. Until next time, guys, this is Tony, signing out.